rivals between the other collectors, there is no rival. I'm number one. Top dog. Bring it if you got it. You can't mess with me. <laughs> My collection is like living in a toy store. Ronald Toby has an incredible collection of vintage toys, which he's been slowly building on since his childhood. My collection was appraised uh, by the Philadelphia Daily News at 1.4 in 2011. Today, I think my collection probably is worth about 1.9 maybe. As a kid, there wasn't a lot of toys. I had relatives who would, um, I'd do a little chore for them and they would always get me what I'd ask for. Everyone else would be out playing or whatever, not Ronald. He would be in the house playing or working with what he had. And then he was a good kid doing that. No jail time, no policemen, and so that was really good. Don't you think? Uh, the way that I financed uh, my collection is, number one, I had a job for 30 years. Uh, number two, I had boys. Uh, that was a reason to always go in the toy store and act like I'm going for the boys, but I was going for myself. One for them, three for me. That was my philosophy of going in. Me and Ronald, we go back about 20, 25 years. He's my buddy. I think his collection is like out of this world. Every time I come in here, I see something new. I try to have a different theme in each room. I have a sports room. I have an African room. If you have a coral reef on your wall, then you got to have, got to have a flying show. Trying to get you to dig down home, swing it up. Now bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Die. Wiggle that tail, I'll show him you here. Get him, get him, finish him off. <laughs> I have an ice house room, which is a frozen icicles. From there, I have a boxing room. From there, I have a 1941 room. Favorite room. From there, I have a doll room, which is the Florida room. Hey, I'm Snoopy. When I moved from my last house, I bought a bigger house so that it could hold my collection. And I've been at this house for a while. Now I need a bigger house to hold my collection. So apparently it's growing to in a fanatical rate that it's time to put the brakes on, that's for sure. Oh, here's something you've never seen. Dick Tracy, G-Man Gun. And guess what? Still works. Dick Tracy, G-Man. Now this is one of my proudest collections. There's a cliche about collecting toys. The cliche is this. He who dies with the most toys wins. And I know quite a few winners. I'm not trying to be one yet. But I know quite a few winners, and it's 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 true. Um, you never want to sell your toys. You'll you'll hold them to the end. Toby is a bright, imaginative gentleman. I hope to see his collection go to a museum.
one thing about um, toy collecting is um, you leave a legacy to um, show that you did something when you were here. 